So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to do something different. I'm going to try to, you know, add some sort of dynamic functionality into our application. So far we have seen how we can add click handler to this particular button. But what if, let's say I want to create a counter or something and I should, I want to display it right here. So I'm going to have a counter variable. We have seen how JSX works. So if I have let counter is zero and hit save, we're going to see that we get zero right here and what I want is when I click on this button this counter should update now what what you should be thinking right now is how about doing this right and it's safe and you know well I'm clicking on this button but nothing is happening well why is that well for starters what you can think of is that react does not really know that this counter variable has updated when this when you click on this particular button all that react does is that execute this function but under the hood it does not have any mechanisms whatsoever to check what this this function is actually doing because react obviously is dynamic right and you should you could be doing pretty much anything in this function and should not bother react so we need some way to let react know that we have updated a particular variable and how do we do that we actually do that by creating a state for that particular function, a functional component, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this counter instead of, you know, outside the global scope, I'm gonna move this inside the uh, application itself, right? And I'm gonna make use of something known as use state, right? So use state is basically a hook from React. We're gonna get into hooks later on deep into hooks later on but for now what you state is is that you state would actually return me uh on the first render it would return me zero which is basically what the value i pass in right and what it would return me is not actually zero but zero comma a function so i want to receive counter which is the zero and the set counter which is the function so you see use state returns me an array consisting of two values the first one being actually the value of my state variable and the second one actually being the function which does something right we don't know yet what it does so use state returns me that now if i just go ahead and console log the counter variable what we're going to see is inside the console what we're going to see is if I click on this button, we see that we get zero as the console logged. So we see that you state actually returned us whatever value we passed in. So if I return, if I write five in here, we're gonna see if I press five here, it would just return me five, right? And it is also displayed here because well, counter is in fact five. So how do I update this particular counter now? Now you might be thinking that again I could just do you know something like this. But still, even though you have created this variable using um, some sort of Reactish way, but still, if you update it directly, React has no way of knowing uh, that you updated it. No way of knowing it deterministically. That is, unless React is, you know, checking it again and again and again over and over, it's it's very hard for it to know. However, React also gives us a function which says that hey, if you want to update this counter variable, use this. So when you call this function, React would automatically know that now you want to update this. So if I call this function as set counter two and it's save, now what's going to happen when I click on this button, you see this checks, this text actually gets changed to two from five, it changes to two. Why is that? Well, that is because when I click on this button, I call the set counter function with a value of two. Now in this function, whatever value you pass in, that value is assigned to your first parameter, that is your first counter. Now you can name this anything, right? And it would still work. Hit save, you're gonna see, we still get five because that is what X is, right? And that is the first value. And when I click on this button, it changes to two because that the second value is the function. So it does not matter what you put in here, but by convention, if you have X here, then you're gonna put 
set x here right so if i have counter here i'm just going to make use of set counter now this is just a convention you can follow this if you want you can just skip it if you want but it just makes things clear right so we're going to make use of this and what we could do is we could just make use of counter variable itself inside here and i can just increment it by one now i'm not doing counter plus plus i'm doing counter plus one right i'm not modifying the vari variable itself right here i'm just making use of the set counter function and hit save right and once i do that you can see if i click on this button we have created just created a nice little counter for us and to avoid things like counter plus plus and something what we could do is just we can just go ahead and make use of const here instead of let right so once you do that uh const here you can just freely go ahead and make use of code like this right so it would not make it would not really make any difference because you see that in this function we are never modifying counter directly we are always using this function so we never need to modify counter directly so we can make it const there's actually a very other reason why const is working here and we would discuss that later on because that uh, relies on your understanding on how use state works under the hood which under the hood relies on your understanding of how functional components work under the hood that is how hooks work under the hood so anyway that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it do not forget to subscribe like the video thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one really soon